make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are out here in the sticks, 309 Manor. This is actually in Gaston. A little more rural than most flips that we might end up doing, but the acquisition was so low on this property that we ended up taking it down. We're basically just kind of touching it up, not bringing it to market standard because it is still going to be an off-market wholesale deal. Um, but we're walking through, we paint, carpet, and just touching some stuff up. Give it, give it a little band-aid, give it a little, a little more curb appeal. So let's take a walk around. Well, I mean, you saw how the front porch was. We, we, we put a new coat of paint on the outside of the house, working on whitewashing a little bit. We covered the the flooring of the front porch and the back deck with a uh, color called chocolate chip. Kind of brought that out a little bit. And uh, a little repair here and there. A couple boards were uh, rotted out pretty bad, so we had to replace those. And uh, we got those in place. On the inside, we did a little bit of cosmetic face lift. The ceiling was really terrible. It was stained really bad, so uh, we went ahead and shot a uh, primer-based white to even out all the colors on that. We picked a neutral color for the walls, which is kind of the standard color for most places, the agreeable gray. And uh, we had to replace some of the door trim. It was all pulled off on some of the closets. There was a door that was uh, tore out. We replaced the door and uh, then we get some new carpet and that'll help bring that out a little bit too. The, the cabinets needed a little bit of work and a fresh coat of paint. A few more touches to do on the drawers on those, but uh, they're in a lot better shape now. They're clean. They're not stained. They don't have uh, grease from the stove. Kitchens are actually the nicest part of the house. You got tile yeah. floor, cabinets yeah. are intact. I mean, you yeah. slap some paint on it and then you put some, some hardware. Right. Crazy. Yeah, you know, we're lucky because part of the uh, part of the uh, stuff that was in the house, these bottom drawers, they, there was a cabinet. They took the uh, doors off the cabinet, and it just so happened that they were very close matched to the same type of design. So uh, when they murdered this cabinet under the sink, they, they've actually given us the ability to repair that and put some new doors on it and close that gap. They just happen to be wide enough that they'll work perfectly for it. Literally a $5,000 patch job, maybe a little bit of change on top of it, you know, but paint, carpet, and uh, you're good to go. You know, yeah. a couple of days of spraying the house, spray the inside, get it done quick. We're doing carpet so we don't have to worry about the floors or taping anything up, but I mean, it's crazy what a few days of work can really do. Oh yeah, put several holes in the walls. And I had patched those, but they're patched up. And uh, got a little bit more sanding to do. And we can finish painting that and hang the mirror back up. Got a new vanity to go in. The bathroom itself is uh, lights up in it. A little bit of patchwork on the walls. How's our plumbing in here? I don't like it. No, if I had done the plumbing, I'd, I'd have brought the plumbing up through the wall to where it comes out. You know what, man? You're you're a craftsman, man. It's an art form to be able to piece stuff together like this. I wish I had the skills that I could put my hands to work, man. But all I can do is think, you know. Hey, you know what? Sometimes, yeah, I, I had some guy a while back. I, you know, I, I helped him out. He had a flea market booth, and. Uh, I've always been like this gung-ho, you know, my father was in the military, so it kind of rubbed off. I've always been this gung-ho, and, and every time he'd be like, hey, can you do this? I'd be like, bam, 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 and he'd stop me. Hey, look, you know, work with your mind before you work with your muscles. So being a think tank sometimes could have its advantages over being, you know, having a skill like this. Or learning how to take that skill and pass it down to either manage technicians below you mm -hmm. or run a, you know, run a business or think about strategies where you can systematize instead of staying in the technician. Right, right. That's right. huge. It makes a better use of time. You know, does. a lot of people, they'll just use up a lot of time and, and they'll get a little bit done, you know, without proper direction. You know, if you think about it, you can always think of a better, faster order of doing things. But I'll tell you what, man, your productivity levels are crushing. I mean, Got a lot done in a short amount of time. I, I then I'm working more than one job at a time too. So, I mean, I got time. So, you know, 
but I mean, this was an easy project in comparison to this other one I'm on. I mean, I've got to rebuild bathrooms and add stuff that wasn't normally there. And uh, then I got to try to recover some hardwood floors that have some stick on tiles and that's... It's and <laughs> it's foreclosure, right? Yeah, $74,000 is on that. That is huge. I walked it. It's got a big upstairs deck on the back with steps leading up to it. It's got a big bonus. I, I couldn't get in up there. The, the garage door is all fucked up, so I was able to walk in. But the inside looks pretty good shape. It's sweet, man. $74,000. It's 3,174 square, I just, square I don't, foot. I don't understand why you would build a house like that in an area like this. That's the only, that's the the biggest part of the puzzle to me on that one. It is like, it does not look like any other house in the area. It's a massive house, but I mean. It's banging. You know what you I mean? You, you know, looking at the options on it, I mean, you know, it, it's out of list at 74. If you can get them down about 65 on it, I mean, it's 3,174 square foot. And I believe on that measurement, it's probably the main house, not the bonus room above the garage. And that the comps are gonna support, I mean, we pulled some comps up and you got houses selling, I mean, nice houses, they're going up over 200. It might be worth investigating a little bit. That might be, that might be a good gold mine. I mean, if Put it's- 60K into a rehab or who knows what that thing, it's, it's got a lot it's, of square footage. It, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it may need a roof. Um, I know from what I could visually see, you know, some of the fascia was, was pretty bad. So some of the soffit may be bad. Uh, it's going to need a lot of work on the deck. Mostly it's just the... All right. So on this plot, we're sitting on nearly an acre, which out here land doesn't hold quite as much value. But if you look at it, I mean, it's a fenced in backyard sitting on 0 0.7275 acres. Um, nice. We're going to get the grass cut, trim it up all this junk and all the trash and debris off site and then we'll be good to go for our showing on Saturday so hopefully we'll be able to entertain a cash offer you know maybe make a quick little good lick out of it but it's a nice little house I mean hard to beat it quick little lesson never leave tools on the job site yes had the lesson I oh, learned the wrong way whenever I do a job site all my tools are loaded up right there and then heck yeah yeah I mean but when you pull an 18 hour day and you know you you, you stop sweating two hours before you left yeah. you're ready to just get in the AC and get out of it you know yep right. someone took off with this chop saw showed up today and it was gone I know and I just bought it this year too man 350 bucks that's messed up Down the drain. it's important to know where you want to go before asking for directions. There's so many other people that are already achieving the results that you are seeking. Surround yourself with people who get it, people who are gonna push you forward and help you to build your vision from the ground up. There's never been a better time for you to begin creating your life with and for a purpose. Start now, fail forward and fail often. Because at the end of the day, this is where the growth happens.